So we often get asked, how will the health reform law impact consumers and actually purchasing health insurance? And part of what the health reform law tries to do is shift insurance so that it works for consumers. Um, it does this through several different mechanisms. One, insurance companies will no longer be able to deny um, insurance to people trying to purchase it based on pre-existing conditions. So if you have heart disease or diabetes and you go to purchase health insurance, the insurance company can't say, no, we're not gonna offer you insurance because you have this existing disease. Um, another thing that will happen because of the Affordable Care Act is no annual or lifetime limits. And what that means is, Oftentimes, an insurance plan that someone has will have an annual limit. So every year, they, the insurance company only has to pay a certain amount, um, and then coverage is done. And the consumer is responsible for whatever costs exceed that in, in an annual time frame. There often is also a lifetime cap on how much insurance companies will pay. So if you have cancer, um, if you have some major illness or disease where your health care costs are, are really high, um, you often can meet that lifetime cap and then you have no coverage from your health insurance in terms of paying those costs. Um, these, both of these provisions will be outlawed by the Affordable Care Act. Another important thing that the Affordable Care Act provides is insurance companies will no longer be able to rescind coverage from people. And what rescission really means is dropping coverage. So um, oftentimes, insurance companies, someone's diagnosed with breast cancer, and immediately that person is flagged within the insurance company's database, and the insurance company will go back and look at their medical history and look at the application for insurance. And if they find any discrepancies, they will say, oh, you lied on your application, um, we are going to rescind your coverage. And so it, at the exact same time where someone really needs their health insurance, they've just been diagnosed with cancer, they actually get dropped from their health insurance coverage. This won't be allowed anymore. So insurance companies will not be able to rescind coverage from individuals. Another important provision of health reform is the medical loss ratio and how it protects consumers. The medical loss ratio says that insurance companies have to spend 80 to 85 percent of the insurance premiums they collect, either from employers or from individuals, to actually provide medical care to those people that are paying their premiums. So of the premiums they collect, 80 to 85 percent of those dollars have to provide medical care to the recipients. That means insurance companies have 15 to 20 percent of the premium dollars they collect to pay for overhead, to pay for salaries, to pay for marketing, to pay for their CEOs, and the rest of the money they collect actually has to go to providing medical care. Um, currently, private insurance companies spend anywhere from 8 percent up to 40 percent of the premiums they collect on overhead. So this really sort of levels the playing field for all insurance companies. Some insurance companies are doing a really good job of spending the dollars they collect on providing care. Other insurance companies are spending an excessive amount, 40%, on actually overhead, administrative expenses. Finally, a, a portion of the Affordable Care Act that really goes towards trying to improve consumer protections is actually standardize some of the language so that when you sit down and try to, to look at different insurance plans that you're, you're wanting to purchase insurance, it actually lets you see and compare insurance plans across the board. So they're easy to read, there's a standard format, so when you look at an insurance plan, you can understand what are the benefits to me, where are my dollars going, what is covered under this insurance plan. Ultimately, the Affordable Care Act attempts to shift the focus of health insurance to the consumer and away from the insurance company and focus on protecting families, protecting individuals as they navigate the healthcare system.